Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nan and today I'm gonna work in my Japan travel journal. I love this journal so much. I'm gonna do three of them, so I'm still on my first one. Um, and our trip was, my trip was in 2018 in September. So I'm just continuing on, I'm on day three now. And when I'm doing my travel journals, I do them a little bit differently than my other journals. I kind of keep it by day, just so I can flip through them later at a later date and I know exactly what we're doing by day. I don't know, I just started doing that and I really like it. So that's what, how I always just do my travel journals. And then I always add tons and tons of pockets just because you collect so much stuff when you're traveling and a lot of stuff I want to keep. So, and Japan's one of my favorite countries, so I wanted to keep like everything. So, <laughs> and then how I wanted to keep, how I keep everything separate when I'm traveling, I just use Ziploc bags. And then every day I just put all the little um, receipts and like anything that I collected that day. I put it in a little Ziploc bag and then I uh, date it with the postcard or post it and then you know when you're going back to journal you know exactly what day it was so let me know if you guys want a video on that I can definitely do one journals are such a fun way to keeping memories like in order so I really I have so many of these so and I still have like so many trips to document so I'll be busy for a long time <laughs> um, but yeah here I'm making a pocket out of a map uh, from Shinjuku and because a lot of a lot of times I get like things that aren't too pretty but I still want to keep them so I need to hide them in some sort of pocket so here I'm just making a map pocket and oh what a fun trip definitely recommend Japan if you guys ever want to travel somewhere completely different and amazing I loved it so much and then I also just do a lot of journaling in this one um, just because I had I take a little notebook as well and I kind of just bullet point whatever we did that day and then I have a ton of journaling of fun memories in this journal so it'll be really nice to look back at later and yeah so here I'm just flipping through some photos that I took from the trip and I took a photo of Shinjuku there and then I'm just gonna rip the back off like normal and then stick it down I didn't do too much photos in this these couple pages but in the future there'll be a lot more but I just kind of uh, I'm still on day three so this is all this is still one of the first few days in there so just kind of getting settled and then this washi tape is one of my favorite these two little ones are actually my favorite ones I got them from Michaels and then I got those little emoji stickers from Dollarama and they're so fun and all those emojis remind me of Japan so much so super cute and again more journaling and then those are the receipts that are too not too pretty but I still wanted to keep them and I just stuck them in the pocket there and then that's one of the atlas pages that I use to actually make the book with. And there, are, um, I think Taipei and yeah, Taipei and Japan are on that one. And then just uh, Taiwan, sorry. And then just stick it into the little pocket I'm gonna make. I usually use uh, the clear acetate to make pockets or tippins. They're so fun and they look so nice, and you can still see through, so it makes it really fun. And I think maps are definitely one thing that you should into add into your travel journals just because it's nice to know exactly where you are. Um, at least for me, that's how I like it. And then I'm just using the plastic there to make sure that the tape or the washi tape sticks nicely. And yeah, so pretty much a very simple couple layouts, um, but this is still day three of my trip and I'll do some more very soon, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get some inspiration and I hope you document some of your travels as well. And I'll see you guys all next week with a new video. Have a great weekend guys. Bye.